Welcome to the Museum of the Future. Each year, our organization, the Dubai Future Foundation, does a brand new exhibit about a topic of concern, interest, or importance for governments and companies around the world. This year we're doing our fourth exhibition, which I think is the most important topic that we've done yet, and that's on climate change. Last year in 2016, we crossed what many climate scientists think to be the point of no return for climate change. Even if we stopped emitting CO2 today, we're going to experience climate change, potentially severe climate change, in our lifetime. This year we explore three aspects of climate change impacts. How will we get enough water for our families and societies and industries? How will we grow food for our children in the future? And how will we adapt to the impact of sea level rise and storms on our cities and infrastructure? The exhibit is called Climate Change Reimagined because we want to reimagine how we might approach these difficult and dangerous issues. How can we take these challenges and transform them into opportunity? What I'd like to show you now is a short documentary which shows you how we got from 2017 to 2050, how we navigated the difficult and challenging years of the 2020s, and how we invested in science, technology, and entrepreneurship to create new systems that can turn the challenges of climate change impacts into economic opportunity for export to the region and the world. منذ وقت ليس ببعيد أدى تغير المناخي إلى وضع البشرية على حافة الانقراض. Not too long ago, climate change brought us to the edge of extinction. وتحولت الغابات إلى غبار. Forests turned to dust. وعانت الشعوب. People suffering. دمرت المدن. Cities in ruins. We faced great climate risks. But the UAE saw an opportunity. To move fast and create breakthroughs that the world had never seen. بتوفير الحلول المبتكرة ومواجهة التحديات باتت الحلول المناخية اليوم أهم مصادراتنا. We solved our own problems and now climate solutions are our greatest export. مرحبا بكم في دبي في العام 2050. Welcome to Dubai 2050. Countries like the UAE desalinate up to 80% of their water, which is extremely energy intensive and costly. A study by the OECD found that we're likely to have less than 40% of the water that we need by 2050. So this part of the exhibit explores the interaction between biotechnology and artificial intelligence to help us understand and work with nature in a way never before possible. It crosses the genes of a jellyfish, nature's most absorptive material, with that of a mangrove root, nature's most efficient biological desalinator. By combining these two genes, we're able to create a large, mile-wide jellyfish floating off the coast of Dubai that can naturally filter fresh water from the sea, sucking out pollutants, turning salt water into fresh water, and pumping that water back onto land. This is just one example of the kind of breakthroughs that biotechnology, synthetic biology, and environmental engineering might enable us to do if we explore this safely and responsibly and begin to have a progressive conversation about that today. We're now in an auto farm, a fully automated robotic farm. Auto farms grow food for you, your family, and your neighbors based on your preferences and your needs. It's a bit of a play on words as well. Auto meaning automatic, but also auto referencing cars. 
In the late 2020s and early 2030s, when self-driving vehicles became ubiquitous, we found we could provide the mobility needs of an entire city with only 10% of the cars. This let us transform urban parking garages and indeed garages in your own home into micro farms for you and your neighbors. The auto farm works like this. It's connected to your social network. It's a bit of a food social network itself. And we have an artificial intelligence layer on top of it, which understands your wants, your needs, your dietary preferences, and your allergies. The auto farm uses predictive agricultural techniques. Beyond just real-time agriculture, the auto farm will sense what you might want to eat in six to eight weeks. And then using our DNA seed printer, we'll create a custom plant that will grow just for you and be ready when you think you might want to eat that plant. There's no more food waste. We only grow food for what you are going to want to eat. And we grow fresh produce with 99% less water and energy that's harvested at the peak of its nutrition and efficiency and gives you 10 times as much vitamin and nutrients as food we used to have in the early 21st and late 20th centuries. But fruit and veg is not the only thing we need to stay alive. You can see here our aquaculture cells, which harvest both fish, eel, and surprisingly for some, insects. In particular, crickets. Crickets are the only insect mentioned in the Quran which mean that they are totally halal. So after food is harvested and grown, it's all combined by the food bot. The food bot harvests food just when it's ready, moments before you think you might like to eat it. It then prepares it in the ingredients here, much like that old early 21st century startup you may have heard of called Blue Apron. It provides personalized ingredients with personal recipes just to your door. The city kit is a self-building building solution. You drop one of these systems in an environment and it deploys with a variety of different robots and autonomous vehicles. This has then allowed us to rebuild and to build new cities in a matter of weeks, providing home for thousands of people cheaply, efficiently, and most importantly, beautifully. The drones scan the environment for natural resources and create a millimeter accuracy 3D map to subsurface depth. And these robots here provide the roads while these here harvest natural materials to combine sand with bacteria and nitrogen to create bioconcrete for 3D printing. The city kit has three other features that are worth discussing. The first is the 3D scanning database. The second is its ability to regenerate damaged and destroyed environments. And the most important one, perhaps, for the health of the ecosystem as a whole, is its ability to plant new trees and regenerate natural environments in former toxic sites. So all of the old 20th century industries that were ridden with heavy metals and toxic chemicals, now through a combination of mushrooms, bacteria, and fungi, are able to be regenerated and regrown in a natural environment. We've taken you on a journey from the year 2017 to 2050, and we've shown you how we navigated the trauma year of the 2020s as the world struggled to adjust to the reality of climate change impacts. But we've also shown you how the 2030s, 2040s, and 2050s might produce extraordinary breakthroughs based on science, technology, and progressive political leadership. So now we'd like to get your input on what you think are the most important areas of research investment that we in the UAE can pursue to help bring these breakthroughs to the world. As you enter your opinion into the station below, you'll see that the sketchy outline of the city behind you is becoming fully realized as we all contribute our unique ideas about what we think is most hopeful. The exhibit is called Climate Change Reimagined because we think it's time to reimagine the opportunities presented to us by these very real climate threats. It's not just about reacting to the scary negative potential about them, it's about transforming these challenges into opportunity. And that's what Climate Change Reimagined is all about, envisioning a better future for us all and helping to imagine an Apollo mission style project for an entire generation that we can get excited about, that we can transform our industries and economy towards, and that we can feel hopeful about for our children. Thank you.